Hi guys, I'm so excited to be showing you today how to make this traditional Gujarati dish called mug or mung. I'm going to be using whole green mung beans which are very nutritious and good for you. And uh, we Gujaratis tend to have it on Mondays after a weekend of eating rich foods like this. So I am going to show you today how we, the master family, make mug. So let's get cooking. One cup or eight ounces of green mung beans, which is enough for about three to four people, and two pints or four cups of water, which we're going to use to cook the mung beans. One three centimeter piece of ginger, and one one centimeter piece of ginger. This is for garnishing later. Three cloves of garlic, three green chilies, and you can increase or decrease that depending on how hot you want it. And three medium-sized red ripe tomatoes. A quarter cup of cooking oil, a quarter cup of chopped coriander, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, a half a teaspoon of coriander and cumin powder, three quarter teaspoons of hing or asafoetida, four curry leaves, one dry red chili, and one teaspoon of salt. Put the water on to boil. Wash the mung beans under cold running water. Add the washed mung to the water heating on the stove and then cover the pan and let it cook. So the mug is now boiling. I'm going to turn the heat down to low and let it simmer with the lid on. It's going to take 50 to 60 minutes to cook. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and you can see the water has evaporated and the mung is starting to split. So I'm gonna add another one cup or half a pint of boiling water make sure you boil it in the kettle before you add it and I'm gonna add the salt now so it's been about 50 minutes and it looks like it's cooked so I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to get the tempering ready now. Alright, so I have another pan here which I'm going to start heating up. I'm going to add the quarter cup of oil. red chili. I'm going to add the curry leaves. Let that sizzle. I'm going to add the hing. And the turmeric. 
and the coriander and cumin powder. I'm going to add the garlic, the ginger and the chilies but leave the julienne ginger for later. And I'm going to add the coriander that we sliced up. Fry that for a few seconds. And then add the chopped tomatoes. Smells amazing. Okay, let that cook covered for a little while. I'm going to turn the temperature down as well. And you want the tomatoes to soften. So it's been a few minutes, and oh wow, look at the colors the red and the green and the yellow of the turmeric looks really delicious and the tomatoes are now softening up which is good and you can see the oil is separating as well from the tomatoes which is really what you want so let that cook just a little bit longer okay so I'm gonna check it again and it looks like the tomatoes are now cooked they've completely softened up. So I'm going to add the cooked mung beans to this. Be very careful because it's very hot. You can give that a mix. Mmm, look at all those colors. And this is such a wholesome dish, I'm sure you guys are really going to enjoy this. Okay, so we're going to let this simmer now for a few minutes. I'm going to put the lid back on. Okay, so it's been like three minutes approximately and that looks like it's good and simmered. So I'm going to add the julienne ginger and I'm going to turn off the heat. And the mung is done. Just give that a stir. If you want, you can adjust the seasoning, just taste it, see if you need to add any more salt. If you want, you can garnish it with coriander, but we did put coriander inside so you don't need to. And this is ready to be served. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and share the video. Also, subscribe to my channel and push on that notification button so that you get a notification anytime a new video comes out. On that note, what do you guys want me to make next? Let me know in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you.